before we give you the top four starters, you can see the field is in the four abreast salute to the fans formation. These drivers want an opportunity to salute you, the great race fans that have come out here this afternoon to North Alabama Speedway to see the Durance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. Get that flash photography ready. Get those video cameras ready, because here they come. We need everybody up on your feet. Let's stand up. Wave to these drivers. Let them see you. Let them hear you. Ladies and gentlemen, the cars and stars of the Durance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. Wave at them. They're waving at you. One of the most beautiful sights in all of motorsports, the four wide salute to the fans formation from the Durance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. I'll be coming to green next time. Pole sitter, you want the inside or outside? Staying inside. 10-4, we'll be coming to green next time. Send me a good time. And you heard the starting instructions from Durance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series race director Adam Stewart showing him that starting box in between the two VP racing lubricants cones down in turn four that's the vp racing lubricant starting box seth mccormick has chosen the inside pole sitter can choose the inside or the outside so he's chosen the inside he'll lead them into the starting box along with corey hedgecock when they're in there they'll come up to speed here they come they're in it they're on it green flags out we're racing and they'll go oh we got trouble it got scrambled up on the start and they're still having trouble. Caution flag coming out. So pole sitter Seth McCormick recollected. He'll bring them back down for a complete restart. With the defending race champion, King Corey the first to his right on the outside. Here they come, approaching the VP Lubricant starting box. They're in it, they're on it, we're racing. Knowles again, trying to get to the inside of McCormick, down the front straightaway, can't get there this time, but he will drive under him in turns one and two. He'll now challenge Hedgecock down the back straightaway. Chase Washington brings the 38 car up into third. Here comes Jake Knowles, looking to the inside of Hedgecock, down the front straightaway into turn number one. Battle up front for the lead. Here they come off a of turn number two down the back straightaway. Shuffling at the back of the pack. Cars going every which way, but it looks like they've sorted it out. Still the battle up front for the lead. Jake Knowles on the inside. Corey Hitchcock on the outside. Chase Washington has settled into the third spot. McCormick trying to hang on to the fourth position. He'll get a challenge from Ashton Winger on the inside in car number 12. Right behind them, it's Eric Hickerson in car number 98. Right there to make a move. Winger through the slider on McCormick. McCormick crosses over down the back straightaway. That's the battle for fourth. Corey Hitchcock out in front. Jake Knowles settles into second. Knowles looking to the inside. No can do this time. Coming off the two. Top two cars, Hedgecock and Knowles, beginning to put a little distance between himself and the third place car, Chase Washington, in car number 38. Washington about a half a straightaway now behind the top two cars as they run nose to tail. Here comes Knowles. He keeps peeking at the inside of Corey Hedgecock. Hedgecock comfortable running the high side of the speedway through turns three and four. Knowles trying to work the bottom. Can't find any racing room there at this time. But this racetrack changing lap after lap. Here's Knowles alongside Edgecock. They're side by side in turn number three. Here they come down to complete. Lap number six. Make that lap seven. Lap seven in the books. So battle for the lead on lap seven. Here comes Knowles again. He keeps working that inside on Corey Hedgecock. Chase Washington third, Ashton Winger up to fourth. Eric Hickerson has brought the 98 car up into the fifth spot. Paul Sitter, Seth McCormick has faded back into sixth. So working lap number 10, race leader, 
Corey Hitchcock beginning to close in on the cars in the tail end of the lead lap. Ace Dow pulled out to about a two car length advantage over Jake Knowles in car number 66. 38 car Chase Washington trying to reel them in as they approach those tail end cars on the lead lap and they are hot and heavy in front of them as they are running two and three wide in front of the leaders. Oh, Hitchcock almost got off the racetrack in a plume of dust on the back stretch. Coming down to complete lap number 12. The leaders have caught the cars on the tail end of the lead lap. Hitchcock will work off a of turn two down the back straightaway. Knowles will step to the outside in turn three. Here they come off the fourth turn. Hitchcock looking for a way to get around Braden Mitchell in the 69 car. Mitchell will give him the inside line. Hedgecock will go to the inside. It's still Knowles trying to make it three wide as he'll be the meat and the sandwich between Hedgecock and the lap car. Hedgecock slides up in front of him off of four to keep the lead. Hedgecock will now step to the outside of the 713 car. Ben Bricado up the banking in the back straightaway. Here comes Knowles in the middle. Jake Knowles trying to get underneath Corey Hitchcock. He'll go to the outside in turn one. He'll try to cross back over in turn number two. Hitchcock keeps it on the speedway, but it's Jake Knowles right there in heavy lap traffic coming off of turn number four. They're side by side at the flag stand as they complete lap number 16. Lap 17 down the back straightaway. It's still Hedgecock flirting with disaster on the outside of the back straightaway. There's no wall back there for him to bank off of. And it's Knowles. He'll get off the track on the outside. Jake Knowles going to try the outside in the 66 car. He'll cross over off of four in heavy lap traffic. Chase Washington right with the lead duo now. And it's a three car dance for the lead. Down the back straightaway one last time. They come up on Evan Ellis in car number 73. Corey Hedgecock out in front. Car length advantage over Jake Knowles in the 66. It's Washington working on the inside, trying to find a way under Knowles. Knowles will pull him two car lengths down the back straightaway into turn three. Knowles likes that outside line. Crosses over in four. He'll get to the inside of Hedgecock. Down the front straightaway into turn number one. Here they come down the back straightaway, working lap number 21. Hedgecock in heavy lap traffic. Evan Ellis working to the outside of Jamie Bull and Hedgecock, all dressed up with no place to go. Jake Knowles on his hip in turn number three. Here comes Washington right with them. Hickerson in fourth now, right up on the back. It's got four cars battling up front for the lead. Hedgecock makes a move around Bullet. Now it'll be Knowles, a car length behind Hedgecock, up a turn four. He's got Chase Washington right with him with Eric Dickerson in the, Hickerson in the fourth spot now in the 98 car. Down the back stretch. Washington puts the wheel off down the back straightaway, gathers it back up. Knowles on the bottom of the racetrack. Hitchcock goes in between two lap cars down the front straightaway, clears Evan Ellis in turn number one. Ellis staying right with him. Now it's Knowles looking for a way around Ellis. Trying to go to the inside. Ellis dropped down in front of him. Now it'll be Eric Hickerson trying to battle Chase Washington for the third spot in heavy lap traffic. As they go around the outside, the 58 car, Brandon Shaw, Ashton Winger in fifth. He's now moved up to make it a five car battle, running nose to tail. But Hedgecock trying to put some distance now between himself and Jake Knowles in car number 66. Here comes Hedgecock off of turn number four down the front straightaway. He's got now about a 10 car length advantage over Jake Knowles. Jake Knowles trying to get by Evan Ellis, the lap car, car number 73. Right behind Knowles, the third place machine of Chase Washington. 
in car number 38. Fourth will be Eric Hickerson in car number 98. As Hickerson now beginning to put some distance between himself and the fifth place automobile, Ashton Winger in car number 12. So now Hitchcock in some more heavy lap traffic. He'll go to the inside of the 24 car. A Greg Martin, he'll clear him down the back straightaway. Evan Ellis still in between Hitchcock and Jake Doles. Doles trying to get by Ellis to get back into his racing groove. And he's got about three, four car lengths on the third place car. Chase Washington. Eric Hickerson still riding fourth right on the back bumper of Washington. Winger about two car lengths behind Hickerson in the fifth spot. Just past the halfway point, 31 laps in the books. So just past halfway, we're now working the second half of the King of the Crate 60. Next car in front of the race leader, Corey Hedgecock, Marcus Minga. Minga gives the leader the inside line. Knowles still trying to get by Ellis. He'll go to the inside in turn three. Jake Knowles has now cleared Evan Ellis. He'll set his sights on the leader. Corey, trouble in front of the leaders. Trouble in front of the leaders. They go to the outside to just miss a three car pileup in turn two to bring out the caution flag. And he's in the throttle. Green flags back out. We're racing. Jake Knowles takes him into turn number one, puts the nose underneath Hitchcock. Hitchcock gets off a of turn two. He'll keep the lead. Hickerson will get by Washington. Washington drops two more spots. Hickerson up to third. Ashton Winger fourth. Seth McCormick back up in the top five. And trouble as Washington goes off the speedway, takes another car with him. And that'll be Winger in the 12 car. Once again, Corey Hitchcock can restart the race anywhere he wants to from the center of turns three and four. He's in the throttle, green flags out. Top four gets single file. Tyler Wood working to the inside of Seth McCormick as they battle for the fifth position. Tyler Wood will take it down the front straightaway. McCormick back to six, Shannon Davis seventh, Eric Cooley in eighth, Justin McCree ninth, Oakley Johns in tenth. Top five or six cars now settling into a race pace. Jake Knowles with a handful of race car. That car's really rearing up on the left rear. We'll have to keep our eye on that, but it's not slowing him down. He's able to keep the 98 of Eric Hickerson behind him in the third spot. And smoke beginning to come out of the back of one of the automobiles. That's the 17 to Tyler Wood. They had just brought it up into fifth. Looks like he may have a rub on the right front corner of that automobile as he is now falling back through the field. Trouble on the back straightaway. Shannon Davis in the seven stops. He has led from the beginning. Jake Knowles has been with him the whole way. Hedgecock picks up the pace. Knowles followed his tire tracks through one and two. Hedgecock gets up high off of two. 
Noel says, okay, I'll take the inside. They're wheel to wheel up front for the lead. Here they come and it's a new leader. Jake Knowles takes the lead on the restart. Hitchcock tried to come back on the inside, but Jake Knowles says, now I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm not going to move out of the way. Jake Knowles inside turn three takes the lead on the restart. So Jake Knowles now opening up a six car length advantage over Corey Hedgecock. Eric Hickerson hanging on to third, Ashton Winger fourth, Seth McCormick riding in fifth, Eric Cooley sixth, Tyler Wood in seventh, Justin McCree holding down the eighth spot. Oakley Johns in ninth, Chase Walls running tenth. Marsh still on the lead lap in car number one. He's running 11th. He started shotgun on the field. Ryan Marsh, so far a hard charger of the race. Fifty laps in the books, ten to go. Inside of ten laps to go. And look what Jake Knowles is staring at. Lap traffic in front of him. Corey Hitchcock sees it too. All right, Jake. Oh, we got trouble in front of the leader. Oh, he makes a quick right turn. Caution flag coming out. The leader, Jake Knowles, dodges a big bullet. Here they come. Green flags out. Eight laps to go. Jake Knowles down the back straightaway. Pulls Corey Hedgecock. Four car lengths. Hickerson in third. He's got Ashton Winger now looking to the inside. No room there for the 18-year-old as Hickerson will pull him down the back straightaway in the battle for third. Seth McCormick riding in that fifth spot. Eric Cooley in sixth. Jake Knowles out in front lap cars the back of the field not even in his sight clear racetrack in front of the leader less than five laps to go Corey Hedgecock trying to save a little bit for the end trying to close in on the leader now four laps to go down the back straightaway into turn three Noel still holding a four car length advantage over Corey Hedgecock. The laps winding down. If Hedgecock has anything left, he's going to have to use it now. The laps winding down. Hedgecock now trying to pedal hard. Closes it to within three car lengths with two to go. Dale Finley now looming in front of the leaders off a of turn four. White flag in the air, one lap to go. 
Jake Knowles into turn number one. A couple of car lengths between him and the Finley automobile. Down the back straightaway, Jake Knowles with two car lengths on Corey Hedgecock. Knowles will guard the bottom of the racetrack. Hedgecock with no place to go. Checkered flag out for Jake Knowles. Corey Hedgecock in second. It'll be Eric Hickerson in third. Fourth will be Ashton Winger. Fifth will be Seth McCormick.